Alright guys, so what I have for you today is the 3 to 18 by 50 Forge scope from Bushnell. This is one of their kind of low to mid-range uh, scopes that they have uh, generously provided to me to do a review on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit that up for you today. Uh, I've just got it mounted on my 223 here. It's a Remington 700 um, in a gray bow stock, and we're probably just gonna try to stretch it out to say about 600 yards today. But I'm really about just giving you the features and the details of what I think is a, a fairly nice optic. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some initial uh, some initial shots down here. Um, so one of the first things that I really want to point out that I really like about this optic is that the turrets have a nice locking feature. It's simple. You just pull up on the turret. You can rotate. The turrets feel nice and nice and crisp. The clicks are audible and tactile. There's nothing mushy about them. The hash mark lines line up perfectly with the marks, uh, the mill marks on the turret. So that's really nice. It just feels really good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, and you should lock it. You just push it back down and that thing's not going anywhere. It's also got a nice zero stop on it. I'm going to go ahead and send some rounds down range here, just 200 and 300 yards, maybe 400. See what we've got, try and figure out my wind and all that kind of stuff. I'll give you some more on the scope as we go along. Easy peasy guys, Go ahead and this is a 223, I'm shooting the 69 grain federal gold medal match. Um, no issues whatsoever, so then just rotate back down, hard uh, zero stop, the lines, again the hash marks match up perfectly, parallax is uh, easy to use, accurate, doesn't take a lot of cranking in order to get your adjustments. You know on some scopes, you turn it just the tiniest little bit, it's got such a short, tight parallax that it's hard to get just where you want it. Um, this has got a nice forgiving sort of window uh, with which to tune it. So really nice. Glass is good and clear. I'll give you some more details as we go. Jeez, getting absolutely hammered by those little, uh, those little ladybugs, those little beetle bug things that come out and try to find the hot sides of your building, you know, up in the corner of your house and they just like take over everything. I'm getting swarmed, man, and I don't like it need like a can of bug spray or something everywhere that and the little floating spiders that come through in the air right at this time of year I mean you can just see them you look out across and there's like floating webs everywhere and these tiny little spiders again calm calming it down for y'all gosh dang it anyway <laughs> the Bushnell scope that's why you're here right so uh, I've shot this a little bit 200 300 400 yards um, no big deal. It's perfect on this uh, on this 223 Remington 700. Really performs well. You know, after 600 yards, what I'm using it for today. Obviously, you could use it farther than that. But as you know, with all optics, the higher magnification you go. Actually, not with all optics. I guess with the really high dollar ones, you you zoom your magnification all the way to the top, and you still got a nice crystal clear, bright image. Most other scopes below $3,000. Once you zoom your magnification all the way up to the top, you start to lose some clarity. It starts to get gray, you start to lose a little bit of that color, those sorts of things. Um, it's no different with this guy, I guess, if you want to call that a downside. I just call it a given um, on these kind of scopes. So, zoomed all the way up to, up to 18, it's still plenty clear and bright. Um, you start to lose uh, just a little bit of, of detail around the outer edge, but that's going to be expected um, on a scope of this dollar range. Now. The features, I think, are great. So you've got 3 to 18 by 50, plenty of objective lens to get good light in there. Um, you've got plenty of magnification for just about every range that you need to deal with uh, in PRS style competition. Obviously, you might like to have a little bit more. It's perfect on a gun like this. Say you want to put it on a, on a mid-range, kind of a DMR style gun, like an AR, or you want to put it on a, a, you know, a shorter barrel 223, kind of like this, use it for hunting, maybe use it for, uh, for plinking out to say 600 yards, 700 yards. Guys, it's the perfect scope for that, okay? You've got zero stop, 
you've got first focal plane, you've got mill mill adjustments, you've got locking turrets that are tactile, audible, um, the hash lines match up perfectly, you've got parallax adjustment, um, all for a great price point. I really don't see a whole lot of downsides to this optic. I'm telling you, I think this scope is worth the money. I think it's got a great feature set. It's from a trusted company in Bushnell. I give it, I give it two thumbs up. Scale of one to 10 for what it's built for in the price range, okay? Scale of one to 10, I'm giving it a solid seven. Hit us up again soon for another great video from Precision Rifle Network.